Rhea, go away! You told Maddie! Why should she have to hide a big secret like that? Heard you were blackmailing her. That's not nice, Rhea. Oh, so you two are friends? Well, we're not enemies anymore. Unlike you and I, we're enemies, Layla. Oh, 100%. You've been enemies since the day she was born. You're not wrong. Rhea hated me. Always. Because you didn't fit into our family. You weren't like the rest of us. That's a horrible thing to say. She is horrible. I'm not even going to deny that. The fire is spreading. We have to be quick. Oh, you think you're going to save him? Of course. You're going down, Rhea. No one can bring me down, Layla. Is that what you think? Don't start a fight, Rhea. I seem to have the whole group here. So? Well, no one's gonna rescue you now. We don't need rescuing. We just need to get out of here and away from you. You know what? I'm fed up with you always being better than me, Layla. You don't have to be like this, Rhea. It wasn't supposed to end like this. Blackmail doesn't fix things, Rhea. But fire does. How though? I thought you were smart, Layla. I thought you were, actually. But in reality, you're not even that intelligent. Excuse me? You act like you know it all. But I do. No, you don't. You can shut up, little one. Only I can tell my brother to shut up, Rhea Elliot. At least I know what Layla wants. What do I want? You want Finn to be safe, and you want him to like you, even after you said your big secret. You're not wrong, but it's not that hard. You don't know how I feel. You feel annoyed and angry and upset. Actually, no I don't. Yes, I'm angry, but I'm more horrified than anything else. Can't believe I pretty much worked for you. Oh, I do. You did the right thing for once. At least until you ditched me because you didn't like what I was doing. I never liked it. Maybe not, but you were loyal for so long. I finally had the courage to stand up for myself. If anything, you, Layla, and you, Maddie, are the people that have destroyed me the most, and you two will pay. Oh, and what are you going to do? Lock you in that room. A long day of school is over. That lasted forever. Should we go and see how Miss Ryan is doing? That might be wise. We can't just stand here worrying all the time. Then what are you waiting for? Miss Ryan, are you home? Hello, girls. Miss Rodriguez is here. But come inside. You must be so worried. They're all gone. Do you girls have any information? Maybe we do. I'll make some more tea, and then you can tell me everything started from Monday. Everything? It started when Finn met Layla, right? It did. We'll tell you everything. Do you just want to burn down your building? Oh, but it's not mine, is it? I guess that. You always steal expensive things. Maybe I will end up in prison, but it was worth it, and I can't be defeated! Ha 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 Of course you can be defeated. We just haven't yet. Then what are you waiting for? For you to go away. Never happening. Ha <laughs> ha What I want you to do, Rhea, is go away and let us have peace. Finn didn't deserve any of this. Oh, Layla, life will always be unfair. Oh, you're calling this unfair? Well, it's pure evil. Don't be like that. You're my cousin, remember? In your dreams, Rhea. I don't consider you as family. So, where did it start? Layla needed a friend. She knew Finn didn't know anything about her background. He didn't know she was cousins with the most awful girl in the school. So, she took a chance. Layla never had any friends. Rhea is a cousin? Not surprised. That isn't her fault, though. 
I know. I'm just saying that people didn't like her because they assumed her to be like Rhea. Then what? There was a rumor circling. What sort of rumor? A rumor that everyone in the school, especially in our big group, is or was hiding a secret. Why was? Well, Mika said hers. Just Zoe and Imogen said theirs. Many people had secrets, but Finn brought out the best in them, and that probably meant they had to choose to be brave. So you're saying that since Finn's joined, the school has been a better place? Oh, absolutely. He helped so many of us see sense, and he really despises people hiding secrets because he'll like anyone, no matter their background or their past. Like Layla. He just didn't like that she was hiding things. Do you know what Layla's hiding? No, but apparently she told Nadi this morning before Max found them. She's worried because Rhea could unleash her anger. That doesn't sound good. Because it isn't good. I've called the police, though. Why? Are you saying they can't cope? Well, I suppose that's good. And yes, she is. If we are set a place on fire, then they aren't going to be able to do this alone. Maybe they want to feel good about themselves? What do you mean? Well, maybe they just want to feel like they've achieved something by defeating Raya. Can't you see? They can't defeat Raya alone. They're just a bunch of kids. Layla! What? The fire! We need to go now! It's spreading! Not without him. I'm not! You'll get hurt! Leave it to the professionals! They aren't here yet! Which means it's up to us. You don't have to risk your life for him. This is my mess, and I should be the one to fix it. Don't say that, Layla. If Rhea's destroyed everything, how do we fix it then? You don't. I'm not leaving without him, Rhea. You don't have to. Not if you never leave. Rhea, this is out of order. I don't care. This... This is my fault! Layla, no it's not. Just come towards me. It's okay. It's not okay. It hasn't been since Rhea blackmailed me. Layla, don't you dare. Everyone ought to know. Maddie knows, so why can't they? I told you the consequences. Do you think I care anymore? No, not really. It's time. I confess. Tell us, Layla. There's no need to be scared. We can protect you from Rhea. No, you can't. You're not going to get away with this, Raya. I get away with everything. Not this time you won't. My mom, she, she set an old lady's home on fire. What does this have to do with the seek? Wait, the lady died. I never wanted to grow up to be like my mom. And, and Rhea said, don't say I didn't warn you, Layla. I said I didn't care, didn't I? You know something? What? Your mum isn't in prison anymore. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, she escaped, never got caught. But what does that mean? I'm working with her. You what? Layla, please finish. I will. She, she thought that my mom being in prison was my fault. Because I didn't act like her, she wanted to follow in my mom's footsteps, which is why she used fire now. Go on. But what about the blackmail? She was angry I wasn't going along with anything. So instead, she blackmailed me. She said she wanted to avenge mom. If I told anyone any of this, she'd hurt someone close to me. For example... Finn. That must be awful. Finn is, or rather was, my first proper friend. I didn't have anyone because everyone hated me since I was Rhea's cousin, and they thought I'd be just like her. But you're not, Layla. I try not to be. Who do you live with? My adoptive mom. Is she nice? Very. Her and Rhea were the only people that knew all this. Well, that's good. Now... Let me out! You said you didn't care, so you stay there. The rest of you can come with me. What for? So you can't rescue them. You're so evil. I like to be, yes. I'm not going to deny it. Why do you always tell the truth? Because there's no point pretending I'm not. Since everyone knows who I am, I can't hide it. Rhea, you've gone too far this time. Or have I, though? Can you hear me? 
Layla. We'll get out of here before it's too late. It is nearly too late, though. Not quite. That was brave of you. I just thought you'd hate me because I'm the daughter of a... I'm not even gonna say it. Why would I hate you? Because everyone else does. Well, did. They, they seem to respect me now that I've told them. Exactly. But because I did, I risked everything. Rhea has taken everything from me. You don't have to let her win. How do we stop her? I don't know, but there must be something we can do. Even Simbuka likes me now. What happened? Before I told everyone the truth, Simbuka and Imogen met up with us. Simbuka came over and just said, sorry, which shocked me, but it was Imogen that made her see sense. Good for her. I don't want this be a competition. It doesn't have to be, but right now it doesn't exactly matter. It looks like neither of us are getting out of here. We... <coughs> we haven't got much time left. No, we don't. Oh my. Mom's probably worried sick. I left Thursday. Well, then we've got to get out of here. I don't care, but for you... <coughs> for you... <coughs> Your family, we have to. Where did the others go? We have forced them to follow her, but she's not going to get away with this. I'm sure of it. 